So I'm chilling in the crib doing my thing. I found a little time to browse the internet and for some reason I chose to go through my old videos that make me feel really cringy. And I came across this one video and it was titled Fear. And so I watched it and I thought, today would be a good day to break that video down and to talk about fear. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna talk about fear. Are you scared? You should be. Oh, and before we get into the video, I just wanna hear from you. Let me know if there's something that you've been afraid of, some kind of fear that you're currently facing. If you have a difference of opinion about fear and being scared, I wanna hear from you down below. So with that being said, let's get into it. Kinda like this little, little intro. It controls us molds us we've been living our lives doing everything that it has told us and so i'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there it controls us molds us we've been living our lives doing everything that it has told us so i think that when it comes to fear a lot of us make decisions based off that fear and that's why i kind of wrote the line in that way is because if you do something and you make decisions based off the way you feel and that feeling is fear that emotion is fear then you are letting fear control everything that you do for example i have a fear of speaking in front of people but when i've done these spoken words live even though it can be a little unnerving even though i'm scared i don't make a decision based on that fear i don't let it control me i don't let it mold me i just continue to do the thing that i'm gonna do anyways i push past the fear um, and thus i don't let it control me and i'm able to get something accomplished so i just think it's interesting it's something to think about when you're dealing with fear so let's let's move on at times we find comfort in the fact that it holds us unaware that it holds us back it's like a hold up in traffic back to back it delays us from getting to our destination when we react with giving up and see, th this is exactly what I, what I was just talking about. We react to fear by not doing it. We go, I, I don't know about that, that scares me. Like even when there's a girl you like, if you're a guy and there's a girl you like and you're scared to approach her, sometimes the thing you do is you don't approach her. You just sit back and go, man, she's, she's beautiful. Um, she seems interesting. And you never approach that person. You never have a conversation with that person. You given up you've kind of accepted this mindset of defeat and you never go talk to that girl and when i was younger that happened to me many times i was super shy and it was like now that i look back on it you know it's like there's a lot of people i missed out on meeting because of fear so that's why i said we react with giving up it happens in so many areas in our lives maybe it's a job maybe it's a big move maybe it's you walking away from a relationship maybe it's you walking into a relationship so i just think that's really interesting and something you got to be careful about not to let happen in your life we're so used to its presence that we don't even realize it exists not knowing that it's a natural born serial killer killing gift after gift and truthfully, it usually tries to do so even before you have a chance to grow. See, it starts in your mind and it moves to rule your soul. Man, we have gotten so used to fear and reacting to fear in a certain way that we haven't learned to we haven't learned to deal with fear the proper way. Meaning, we've grown so used to its presence that we don't even realize it exists. We don't even know that it's fear that's actually motivating and dictating our actions. And I'll just go back to using myself as an example. When I was younger and I was afraid to talk to the girl across the room, right? I didn't think it was fear. I made up all these other things in my head. She probably got a boyfriend. She looks stuck up anyways. Or sometimes it's like, I wasn't gonna get her anyways. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you, you use all these other things to, to, to replace what really is going on. And we use it in our everyday lives. People blame other people on the decisions that they made. And those decisions have been based in fear. We do it all the time. I'll give you a really good example. People come to me all the time talking about content creation. They wanna get into content creation. They wanna do this, they wanna do that. 
and they don't do anything and they blame it on so many other things. Oh, I gotta get my camera. Ah, oh, it's just life is too busy right now. Um, I wanna make a bunch of videos before I release it and they never do it. They never actually do anything. And I think there's a portion of those people that are doing that as a result of fear because it's scary putting yourself out there. Even the opinions that I'm giving now, someone's gonna watch this video and think this guy's stupid. Another person's gonna disagree, right? You know, somebody might even just make fun of me. Boom, roasted. And I think sometimes people are scared of that so they don't put themselves out there. And that's just an example of how fear, we've grown so used to fear that we don't even identify fear the correct way. We name all these other things and we don't realize that it's actually fear. Let's continue. We've given it so much power, so much time, years, days, and hours. We've allowed it to feed off of us like a parasite. It always seeks stopping us when we are prepared for flight. And now we have to stay grounded, like when they make repairs for flight. So it has disabled our ability to soar. It has impaired our sight. That's why we've lost visions and dreams have died all in us. And we no longer believe that we can succeed past all limits. First of all, the line about the the you know repairs for flight that's a bar all right that was a bar but this just further goes into what i was just talking about how fear has just become so normalized or the way we deal with it has become so norm so normalized that no one goes all right when you are dealing with fear right you have to deal with it this way no one says that we just go it's okay to be scared which it is and i'm not saying it's not but there has to be a further conversation about not letting it control us, about knowing when to identify it, when knowing when to move past it, when knowing to listen to it. There's so many different ways to handle it. And I think a lot of the times we just don't handle it the right way. Just my opinion. So we no longer try and we no longer put our all in it because a lot of the times we are afraid to do what can limit us and hinder us from doing what we are made to do. I'm talking the whole reason that God created you. See, that's that's what running away can do. And this is the issue. This is the big, the big part of why we have to really pay attention to the way that we react to fear. I feel like that we all have a purpose. We all have different gifts. We all have different talents. And with those gifts and talents, I feel like we all have a purpose. But when fear enters into the equation, we no longer stay on the path of that purpose. We are now detoured off of the path and we don't end up fulfilling the thing that we were put on this earth to do, the thing that we were meant to do. And whether you believe in God or not, because I, I believe in God 100%, I believe that God has given us a purpose. And again, when fear enters in, it derails us and we no longer fulfill that purpose because we let fear dictate how we move the decisions we make in which direction that we go in. And sometimes the thing that scares us is the thing that prepares us to pair up with our goals, our destiny, our calling. And that's a word for both you and I. See, fear will have you living like a flooded engine, stalling. In other words, you lose your drive. Okay, so the first thing, I'm gonna say it again. Fear will have you living like a car with a flooded engine. You lose your, that's a bar, okay? One of my favorite lines in this whole spoken word is the same thing that scares us is the same thing that prepares us to pair up with our goals, our dreams, our destiny, our calling. I, I truly believe that when you, when you can push past fear, right? And you do the thing and you overcome it. I'll use myself as an example again. When I'm scared to go on stage and do a spoken word, yet I do it anyways, right? If I don't do it, the same thing that has prepared me to be able to write more spoken words, to continue performing, to continue to pour into people's lives with what I do, whether it's live or on YouTube, if I allow fear to dictate, don't go on stage, don't put this out there, people are gonna make fun of you. Don't put this out there, people are gonna think you're corny. Don't put this out there, people are gonna disagree. If I believe that and I act on that, I never touch the lives of the people that I have touched. I did a spoken word, right? Long time ago about depression. And when I did the spoken word, a young lady reached out to me and basically, um, uh, just to keep it PG, she basically told me she no longer wanted to hurt herself. Right. 
And so I don't care if a hundred people said they didn't like the spoken word. I moved past that fear and because I did it, I affected that one person in a positive way and maybe changed her life for the better because I moved past the fear and I fulfilled my purpose. The same thing that scares us could be, and most times is the same thing that prepares us for what we, for what we are meant to do. See, I have a fear of speaking and practically being in front of crowds. But if I were to feed into that fear, I wouldn't be here using my gift to speak to you now. Just talking about so you have to battle fear face to face and be ready for war. And I'm not talking about guns and knives, machetes and swords. You have to prep your consciousness to conquer it. You know you get ready before it makes a move and be unmoved like a monument. This is confidence versus being unsure. So again, this is how you deal with fear, in my opinion. You have to push past it. You have to face it because if you run away from it, it starts the pattern of what you will continue to do throughout your life. When I was young, and this is a really dumb example, I remember going to King's Dominion here in Virginia, which is an amusement park, if you don't know, roller coasters and all that good stuff. And I remember going with friends and being terrified to get on a roller coaster. I remember hating the fact that I was scared. And I'm just like, man, how do I get out of this? I don't wanna be scared of roller coasters anymore. And so I got on the roller coaster. I made myself get on the roller coaster. I was almost upset at the idea that me being scared of something was going to stop me from doing something. And that started a pattern to where now, if I'm afraid of something, I feel like I have to do it. I wanna go skydiving. I am 100% absolutely terrified. I wanna jump out of a plane. I wanna do it at least once. And the, the biggest reason I wanna do it is because I'm scared of it. Again, that's a small example. I don't have to jump out of a plane, but my desire to want to do it is because of the pattern that I created from a young age of not liking the fact that I was afraid of something, facing that fear, and now that's how I kind of move throughout life now. If I'm, if I'm fearful about something, I gotta face it and I gotta face it with confidence. Also in the video, I misspelled confidence and didn't catch it. So this is confidende, confidende, confinde, confin, con. The solution is not being afraid of being afraid. It's knowing that fear is natural and that's just how we're made. You can't let it control your life and you can't keep running away. So don't let fear stop you from being great. So again, when I do these spoken words, I try to um, end it with a solution. And again, just simply put, my solution is not being afraid of being afraid. Knowing that fear is natural and that's just how we're made. You're going to be scared of things. Don't let fear dictate how you live. You gotta think beyond the fear. It's a mental thing. You gotta be mentally strong and I wanna encourage you um, to build up that mental strength by facing those little fears um, so that you start that pattern in your life to where you, when you are dealing with something that you're afraid of or scared of, you can kind of face it, deal with it, move past it and conquer it. So let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Let me know if there's fears that you're facing, something that you overcame. If you have a difference of opinion, let me know in the comments. I wanna hear from you. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. It's your boy K-Soul, peace.